even a major tournament, you must be very excited then. Yeah, massively excited. Um, it's been quite a busy um, last month um, with all the T20 competition in ECB um, and also uh, last week in Loughborough, uh, two games against the academy and then against Loughborough Lightning. Uh, so it's been great to kind of have that momentum coming into it. Yeah, the results have been going in the girls' favour. They've hard earned, it's not been luck. The team seems to be developing well and what perfect timing before you head off. Oh. Yeah, exactly. It's been fantastic kind of going from and more of the A team in the 50 over competition and just how they've grown and come together and everyone's kind of starting to really know what their roles are in the team um, and just putting in some fantastic performances. Yeah, you've got three games, you've got Uganda, Thailand and Ireland. What are you thinking about the opposition? Maybe? Um, no, a few of them um, a bit, so probably Ireland we know best, um, but not probably don't know too much about Uganda um, and played Thailand before. Um, but not trying to think too much about them because obviously they've probably developed so much over the last four years from when we last saw them. Uh, so just kind of going into that, playing the best cricket that we can um, and hopefully coming away with the wins. Yeah, there's a mix of young and old in the group. What's the vibe been like? It seems like it's a growing group of people and they seem to be gelling well together. So what's it like before you head out on the plane? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Everyone's getting on uh, really well so far. So hopefully along that continues um, but yeah a good, a good mix of kind of the experience of Abby and Scolzi have been around for a long time and um, coming in and then quite a few new faces as well and um, but everyone's just gelled really well and come together. And yourself your captain this is the first real major challenge for yourself as captain you must be excited nervous how are you feeling towards that? Yeah really excited for it Um I think kind of going into captaining and the ECB stuff it's was exciting and obviously a great honour doing it but um, obviously it's a big difference kind of going into a big competition uh, doing that as a bit of a different challenge and um, going away from home um, and having to build performances through a full competition. I mean what's the message from Noxie being before this because I mean potentially this isn't an ECB thing you're potentially playing at a World Cup I mean that's as big as it gets let alone for a cricketer for a sports star so how, how's the vibe what's the message coming yeah. across to inspire people? Um, I think it's just, obviously there's this incredible thing possibly at the end, but not to look too far ahead um, and just kind of take it game by game. Because if you start looking at the final and semi-final and wanting to go to the World Cup, then you kind of forget what needs to be done in those first few games. Um, so it's just getting there, training well, getting used to the conditions, um, and then just taking each game as it comes and hopefully putting some good performances there. The men have done well, you know, very well this season. They almost qualified for the World Cup. Hopefully you guys yes. can go one better than that. Don't have a repeat of that. But and obviously the famous victory over England. So how has that inspired you in seeing Cricket Scotland become more of a global force? I think it's just kind of got everyone going and the support behind it. Um, there's been a massive increase, I think, in just the awareness. Um, even just kind of in some of the hotels we've been at down in England and everyone's, everyone's just been like, oh, yeah, Scotland have beating England um, so just that the, the increased support um, and I think people have kind of got a bit more of belief now and they're like actually these teams can beat the best out there and um, so that's I guess taken a lot of confidence from that as well. And finally how, how much are you guys going to be needing the support of everyone on social media on Twitter back home obviously out in Denmark but, um, in, and Holland pardon me but how important is that support going to be? Oh, it's, it's incredible and that's what kind of keeps us going and um, a lot of parents and supporters coming out as well but just seeing all the tweets coming through and all the support from everyone and just knowing that everyone's kind of got your back and supporting and believing in you is just incredible to have.